Module 4, Direct Internet Access, or DIA. This module includes DIA use cases, challenges, DIA options, and multi-exit DIA. Before we discuss DIA, we'll review how organizations use centralized internet access for their networks. In order to provide internet access to remote sites, centralized gateways are often used. The gateways are located at a headquarters or central corporate site. Traffic from remote sites that is destined to the internet crosses the corporate WAN links to the central location. From the central location, the traffic is then forwarded to the internet. At the centralized location, firewalls, proxy servers, IDS, IPS, antivirus, and other services are provisioned at the internet edge in order to protect the internal networks from security vulnerabilities. But there are a few negative aspects of using a centralized network approach for internet access, including network congestion, a single point of failure, and an increase in response time or latency. First, we'll look at network congestion. Internet usage continues to expand at exponential rates. Computing power and file sizes continue to grow, which places an increased load on centralized security devices and WAN links. Due to the traffic shift towards internet destinations and internet-based services, the requirement that all internet traffic be forwarded across the WAN to a centralized site makes this design inefficient. It creates congestion on WAN links and on centralized security services. Centralized internet access also acts as a single point of failure. Failure of internet service at the central site also results in internet services being interrupted at remote sites. The traffic path from a source to a destination can have a large impact on application performance due to increased latency. Direct internet access places the access to the internet at each remote branch and can reduce or eliminate the three issues we discussed that are associated with centralized internet access. The first benefit provided by DIA is to move the internet close to the user base. With DIA, each site has WAN connectivity for internal resource access and direct internet connectivity for internet-based applications and resources. One of the benefits of the DIA model is the reduction of WAN traffic to the centralized site. This allows the use of lower bandwidth circuits between sites and headquarters and reduces the need to upgrade to faster, more expensive WAN links as applications move towards web-based services. The DIA model removes the single point of failure for internet services. If the internet access to the centralized site is interrupted, it has no effect on remote sites. The DIA model also improves latency for applications at remote sites. Because the sites have direct access to internet-based services, the latency introduced by the centralized model is removed and application performance improves. One of the main challenges with DIA is the need for branch-based security services. Because the security services are no longer centralized, the same types of services must be implemented on each site, which may include firewall, proxy server, and IPS IDS services. This creates a distributed security deployment instead of a centralized security deployment. This challenge is met by software-defined WAN solutions, where the security services are built into each branch device and are managed centrally through software. Multi-exit, or app-based DIA, refers to the process of separating application traffic at the remote office and forwarding traffic over a specified WAN link based on application parameters. This process allows the forwarding of traffic across specified circuits based on the application type and not just the source and destination addresses. This is the end of Session 4 of the Versa Essentials series. In this session, we looked at Direct Internet Access, or DIA, some of the challenges introduced by DIA, some of the benefits provided by DIA, and Multi-Exit, or Application-Based DIA. Thank you for your participation in this session and we hope you found the session informative.